Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Hey. Hey. My name's Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, typically when you meet a lady, you're supposed to kiss her hand, aren't you? I'm just kidding. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to Soul to Soul Travels. And yes, that's exactly what goes on before we start to roll. <laughs> Uh, welcome back, and we are continuing on with... Was this our second episode of Cooking at Home with cooking Tammy at home. Eric? You want to know what we're cooking next? Just stay tuned. You're about ready to find out. <laughs> it's good. Here we are. Here we are, and this is it right here. Yeah. As you can see, we're going to eat each one of these raw, uncooked <laughs> stuff. What are we eating? We are going to be making a Borunkol Stampot Met Roquefurst. That's not correct. It's not? No. no. Uh, Tammy's going to be making that because you definitely don't even want to try my cooking. Well, uh, we got a, a very good recipe from one of our very dear viewers. So, And we had it earlier this year and it was good. So we thought we'd make it for you. Traditional Dutch. Yeah. Traditional Dutch. Really looking forward to the pickles. <laughs> pickles. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. We're going to start to put it together. Come along with us. Let's watch Tammy cook. Yeah, yeah. there you go. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I am peeling the potatoes. Not very well because I'm on film and I'm nervous. Okay, so the frozen bourbon call is being put into the pan with about 50% water. And then we're going to start boiling that, and then in two minutes we're going to start the potatoes. Okay, so the recipe doesn't call for this, but I like to put uh, the smoked bacon in here. Potatoes on. Once the potatoes start boiling, I am going to put the rope worst in there which we got from uh, Kierslaveri Melhers. Uh, they win gold medal for their rope wars, so we're going to check it out, put it in there, see how it works out. How long do we have? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right. Can you wait? I can give it my best shot. Okay. I'll open the pickles. No, you won't. Okay, so we're going to poke some holes. <laughs> into this. Nice to know you couldn't stab me if you needed to. Right? Okay, there we go. We're going to put this on top of the potatoes. The whole thing? Yeah, and let it go. Very cool. All right, it's done. We're going to take the sausage out, put it on the plate. We'll cut that open. We're going to drain the potatoes, drain the kale, or the boron call, and then we're going, Eric is going to mash. I'm a professional with that. You are a professional. And I'll make the gravy. All right, uh, let's set this right here. I'll we'll get this. Drain the potatoes. Oh, that's hot. Then we're going to drain the kale. Okay. You want to start mashing the potatoes? Oh, you got your masher. My weapon of choice. Yeah, there you go. Very cool. Okay, more butter. Let's get some water. 250 milliliters. Then we need to add the kale to the potatoes. Get the water. Stir it. Do you want to add the, the kale to here? Then we'll add some. Uh, okay. No. 
hold it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now what do we do? Put a little bit of put some milk in there. Uh, not too much. And stir it up. Give it a whirl. Might need some more milk. Done. So we'll just we'll meet you back at the table. So here we are. Three hours later. <laughs> no. The only thing that saved this meal, honestly, is my professional potato mash. Oh yes, that's that is for sure. This looks awesome. Yes. So this looks awesome. What is going to make the ultimate bite is uh, slicing pickle. Okay. It says in fives, in fifths, but get an onion and a pickle and the uh, rockwurst and the mash. Oh, goodness. That's... I got it all together, do believe you? it or not. Oh, my gosh. Look I at, do. Look at how big that bite is going to be. Okay. You, <laughs> not you almost ready? I'm almost <laughs> Take your time. Take it. Seriously, take your time. All right. Uh, maybe I should have done the bite first and then the... Okay, go. here we go. Here we go. Mmm. I'll tell you what, those ounces, that little pearl, little onions, mm -hmm. and the... the make a pickles, difference. They do. They make a difference. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. they do. It adds a crunchy element. This rope was, is so good. And so is the uh, the stamp pot. Oh, yeah, but I think the star of the show is the mashed potatoes. Yeah, yes, that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. This is good. Is really good. How long did it realistically take us? Mouth is full. 30 minutes. I'm still okay. chewing. She said 30 minutes. <laughs> About four, 40. 40 minutes. Peeling okay, the potatoes, yeah. getting everything kind of prepared. So, yeah. That wasn't bad. No. That's not bad. And you know what? For the this is so good. Yeah. With that gravy on there. Oh my goodness. But for everything that you get, yeah. And the amount that you get, it, it's it's great. Yeah. It's great. It is so good. So flavorful. And, and so lovely to have on a cold day. You can tell it's cold outside because our windows are steamed up. I don't know if you can see it, but it got steamed up. The windows are steamed Yeah. So, eat smackalik. Because of her. All right. Eat smackalik. Eat smackalik? Eat smackalik. Enjoy your meal. Um, but I should have said that before we started eating. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut away. Yes, yeah, so and finish our lunch. We're going to go ahead and eat the rest of our lunch. We'll come back and we'll give a little bit of a wrap up and just see how things go. Okay. Before we so, start, do I have any? No. Lauren, call. What the heck was that? I'm just kidding you. No, you don't. You're okay, clean. Okay, then you're, we can go. You're just as beautiful as always. Nothing. Oh my gosh, you're already. Talking. Okay. So, what did you think? Well, I thought it was really, really mm. good. Super lecker. Yes. Thank you so much for the recipe to our dear viewer. Yeah. Um, it's just so awesome. We made it last year. We made it in the beginning of this year. And it is just such a, a great recipe. How long do you think it took us to make that? About 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's probably an 8 out of 10 on the healthy scale. So Yeah, because of the rope first, yeah. which was awesome. I'm so glad we ended up getting it from that Kirsten yeah. Lahari yeah, uh, yeah. Melahars. Mm -hmm. And did you hear her say that um, they only make that sauce or the rope first in the winter time? Yeah. And yeah. they have like a lot of customers who come in and stock up on it and put it in their freezer so they can enjoy it throughout the whole year. Didn't know you could do that. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, well, we couldn't in our little tiny freeze freezer. I mean, it's like an ice. You can freeze a couple of ice cubes. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, <laughs> but what a good idea! And that's that's. I can see why it has won gold medals. Yes. Yeah. And, and for we sure. have had this from Hema. 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 We have mm-hmm. had it from Albert Hein. The Knox. Yeah. We can get it any. And we had it here. This stuff was just night and day. This is it, awesome. Yeah. yeah so good. Absolutely. So good, especially just with a, the little ouchas, the little onions, and the. Little pickles. Yep. Mm. I can see a piece hanging out on the stove right now. I'm going to eat it as soon as the camera's on. Oh, the rope works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, once again, uh, we do have uh, an announcement to make mm. uh, the day after tomorrow. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. We're heading back to the States. Mm-hmm. Let's go meet our grandson. Grandson. Uh, Cash River Falcon. Mm-hmm. Uh, forever immortalized on YouTube right now, Cash. So... Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to be taking some time off. Yeah, we're going to take a little break because we've got a yeah. couple of uh, different trips planned that are going to take us out of the country. Absolutely. Um, and we just we want to be able to focus on those things Absolutely. and not worry about having to tape and upload. Exactly. We want to give our family and friends, especially when we go mm-hmm. um, in a couple days, to yep. you know, we we just want to be able to just enjoy the whole time with them without having to. Uh, but we will Take, be back. Yeah, we will be back. It'll be about uh, eight, eight to twelve weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just we're extremely busy right now, <clears throat> and uh, we just like Tammy was saying, we just want to be able to spend time together. We want to be able to spend time with our family. Uh, so uh, we're, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. But in the meantime, before we leave, we want to thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank for, you. Just tuning in. For being so awesome to us. Ah, it is yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes and all your wonderful comments and Without emails. And I can tell you this. When we do come back, you got something a little different. And I think you're going to like it. It's going to be great new content. So, you know, we, we talk about it all the time. Yeah, we do. So with that being said, thank you for your likes. And your subscribes. And your subscribes. And Thank your you so comments. much. Thank you so much for the wonderful Dutch food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and ask, and I know we're going to be gone for a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and ask you to just go ahead and subscribe right there. And from Soul to Soul Travels, till next time, we'll see you there. Touch scenes. How do.